Hey everyone, my name is Ru and we are here. This is going to be week one of a entirely new league for us, the Saffron Battle Network, the SBN. And this was a 12 mon free draft. And it was a really awkward experience for me because I was forced into picking a lot higher tier than I would normally. I really do like those lower tiers quite a bit better, but it's gonna be okay. I feel like I drafted kind of a monster team. My first pick was the Megalodias, and then I came out with a Dang Zorora in round two. The rest of my team is pretty interesting. You can see I have the Silvali, the Dawn fan, the Scizor and the Incineroar. I think I have a pretty solid team, although his team was pretty difficult to build for in all honesty. I'm going to do the best that I can with what I have, but it was really tough for me to kind of navigate a few different mons. But here we go. We see the Palisand, um, what's that thing called? Bronzong, Suicune, Hydreigon, Coco, and Mega Venusaur. Okay. So again, our Latios is Mega. Um, let's see here. We do have a Ghost Silvali, so that's another thing to point out. Um, probably gonna have the Palisand out as a rocker, though. My Incineroar does quite a bit of work. I kind of want to lead with it, just for that reason. The Bronzong could also be a rocker. I don't know. I'm not sure. My... My, uh... Latias does quite a bit of work here. I kind of just want to lead off with... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to lead off with my Silvali. I think it gives me the most... Flexibility. But realistically, I might just have to switch out on, on whatever he leads off with. Um, so this is a really interesting Zorora set. Oh, I, hold on. Before I forget, I really need to take a screenshot of his team. Okay, I got that just in time. I got that just in time. Okay, I'm immediately regretting my, my lead, but you know what? It's okay. I, th I think we're going to be able to deal with this. I think we're going to be able to deal with this. So my Silvali... Is probably not the best set for what he's bringing. See, I didn't want to over prepare for his fortress. He doesn't have a fortress on his draft, but I didn't want to over prepare for it and have like uh, psychic coverage on everything. Or sorry, flint, fire coverage on everything. So I held off on it. But um, this thing has flamethrower. My Zora has fire punch. Something has HP fire. Oh, thankfully I didn't put HP fire onto my Aladias, but. Um, let me think. Oh, I don't even think my Incineroar has fire coverage. That's how much I was... I really wanted my Incineroar to be able to deal with the rest of his team. But this is an interesting spot to be in. See, I don't know what he would want to bring in on me. I don't know what he'd want to bring in on me. What would be his primary switch into this? He, see, he can see that I'm still Volley Ghost. I honestly just kind of want to go for... What do I lose by going for Shadow Ball? Oh, Hydreigon is his really obvious switch in. Why did he lead off with the Coco? Why did he lead off with the Coco? I'm not too sure yet. I still think the Hydreigon is a really obvious lead. Or a switch in, I should say. I'm gonna try to go into my Assault Vested Incineroar. I switch out first, so he's staying in. Is he just gonna Thunderbolt me? Is he just gonna Thunderbolt me? So, this Incineroar is Assault Vested. He goes for the U turn. Okay, makes more sense. Makes more sense. And that. U-turn damage makes, even though that is through an Intimidate, I think that means that this is pretty much like a modest Coco, I would guess. But, let's see here. What is my Incineroar set? My Incineroar is Darkest Lariat, Drain Punch, Thunder Punch, and U-turn. So, fair enough. Goes into the Suicune. Now, I do have Thunder Punch here. Suicune. I 
Thunder Punch is not doing a lot, but with the terrain... With... Okay. I'm gonna just click Thunder Punch. This should do a decent amount. It's at least gonna break the sub. That I don't have to worry about. And the Palisand is not a switch in at all. The Pilus one, I, I keep accidentally saying Pilus one. I'm I'm trying to stop myself from saying Pilus one, but I'm I have to remember to say Pilus and okay. Pilus and is not a switch in because of my darkest lariat. Venusaur is a possible switch in. So is the Hydreigon, but I can drain punch the Hydreigon, and again I am assault vested. Um, Venusaur I'm not too sure about. Venusaur I might just U turn on in all honesty. I'm gonna Drain Punch. I feel like the Hydreigon might come in here. I'm gonna Drain Punch here. I'm not too sure if he wants to stay in. No, it just goes for Protect. I mean, I'm not sure what this accomplishes. It stalls out his own electric terrain, which is fine, but, um... Thunder Punch is still gonna do enough drain punch is doing at least a third well okay let me think this through i'm gonna click thunder punch palisand might be an obvious switch in but i i would dark his layer at that thing every day and i and i'm assault vested so i'm not going to be taking as much to like an earth power or whatever i'm not going to be taking a whole whole bunch to this goes for the sub. I'm not letting this thing get a free turn up. So I definitely don't mind just going for the Thunder Punch here. But what's unfortunate is I don't have any information on this thing, right? So it could be just like a fully uh, defensive Suicune. In, in which case, if I'm only breaking the sub because of my electric terrain or the, the electric terrain that's up, then that's pretty bad for me in general. Actually, it probably would be max defense because of my Zorora. Hmm. Goes for the protect. Are you trying to pee pee stall my thunder punches? I don't. All right. So clearly, you're trying to stall out this electric terrain. I get it. Oh, you don't know what type of Incineroar I am. Well, I guess you saw that I'm pretty defensive based on the U-turn. I guess now we see if I can break the sub without... It just goes for the Scald. It does a decent amount, but... It's gonna be fine, and now we get to finally see how much Thunder Punch does. Yeah, okay, Thunder Punch will break a sub no matter what. And no matter what, just letting me get this Suicune this low is going to be in my best interest in the long run. Let me see. Let me give this thing max HP. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense for just max HP Suicune. I don't think he wants to stay in here and play this forever. Goes for the Protect. I don't understand. How many Thunder Punches do I have? See, I really want to click U-Turn as well, but... I have 14 Thunder Punches left. He's made me use 10. Oh, he's pressure... Because of pressure! I'm thinking, this, this match didn't even go 10 turns yet, did it? But no, because of pressure, he's fucking pressure stalling me. Okay. Okay. So where does that leave me? This week can honestly walls my team pretty darn well. Goes for the Scald. I should have clicked U-Turn. I really just should have clicked U-Turn.
And the para. Oof. Okay, that para actually kind of makes this Suicune useless now. He might want to switch out now. And he can't set up a sub anymore. Well, he's not gonna. He, he shouldn't expect to be able to set up a sub, so I'm gonna click U-turn. I, I feel like he might switch out now. Goes for the protect, that's fine. If he wants to PP stall my U-turns, then fine, but no matter what, um, he might see that and think of that as an opportunity to, to, uh, set up a sub. No, my U-turn should be doing 15-ish percent. That should be enough, yeah. Yeah, the place to U-turn. He could double to try to, double protect to try to, uh, he does try the double protect, but no. Doesn't go through. Let's make it the U-turn off. I'm gonna put him- No, that's a crit. Okay, fair enough. But that's gonna be well below any type of... Any type of... Range for sub. Honestly, part of me really wants to set up a Swords Dance right now. Just to, like, build some dents into his team. With the Scizor, I should say. Um, but Bullet Punch isn't going to be doing much to the Venusaur, which is a problem. What could I do here? I could go into Scizor and just U-turn out. That probably makes the most sense. I'll, I, I should probably just do that. He could... Man, if, if this dude actually goes for the Protect again, I would be kind of upset. Maybe that means I should click Sword Stance. What's the worst that can happen? He goes into Venusaur and, and I you turn away from the thing. He gets a sleep powder off, maybe. Well, no, the worst thing you can do is go into Hydra again and flamethrower me. I'll just click U-turn. That should take this thing out, and Suicune is going to be a huge, huge problem out of the way for now. I might be tempted to just go into Dawn Fan right now. Then that would give him the... No, you know what? I'm going to go into Sil Valley now. Hydreigon is the obvious switch into Savali again. We've already went over this, but um, I can give up my Incineroar. I don't think my Incineroar is going to do anything uh, left in this match. It doesn't have any physical attackers other than maybe the Bronzo. Well, okay, no, 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 no. I take that back immediately because my Incineroar can still get off some Darkest Lariats up against uh, the, the Palisand and the Bronzong. So, I shouldn't speak too soon on that front. But, as of right now, the Sil Valley is somewhat my most expendable member. I... What's that? That's going to be the Hydreigon. Fair enough. And part of me thinks he brings us in just a U-turn away, because he knows I'm going to try to switch. Um, but no, he, he should just take the Dark Pulse damage. He should just take the Dark Pulse damage. Let me see. Hydreigon actually does a lot to my team. What does my Zorora do to do it with, though? Zora Close Combat does a whole lot. Part of me wants to go into Dawn Fan, honestly. 
If I give Hydreigon a standard set, you use Life Orb, let's say. Up against Dawn Fan. Dark Pulse should just do around half. I really shouldn't give up my Incineroar this early. Maybe Scizor? Yeah, Scizor's not going to be doing much in this match. Well, no, it can get knockoffs against those ghost types. Okay, no. I'm going to go into Dawn Fan. Wait, I didn't click my move quickly enough. Oh no, I didn't click my move. The timer went on me. I tried to click confirm, but you know what? It's fine. We get Dark Pulse, it's gonna be fine. If anything, let's confuse him, because again, this Sovali is not gonna be doing much, and I can and I can say that I can get some Stab Shadow Balls off on the slower mons, but uh, realistically, um, this Sovali kind of gets walled um, by a lot of his team. So it's totally fine. I can let this thing go down. That's going to let my Dawn fan come in. That's going to let my Dawn fan come in. And honestly, he's in range. He's in range now for my... Oh, also, he's not Life Orb. So does that confirm... Does that confirm Scarf or something? Let me bring in my Sovali. Dark Pulse without Life Orb. That should have done a little bit less. I think he's modest. I think he's modest, which would suggest Scarf. Yeah, that damage suggests Scarf to me. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So, assuming that that's correct, I could get rocks up and still be able to play rough it next turn. But would it stay in? I feel like rocks would be relatively free here. I'm gonna click Stealth Rock. If it stays in, then I play Rough It. If he, yeah, okay. I don't think he has removal. Oh, he might have Defog on, on. Uh, he might have Defog on. Coco. Realist. I, I guess he could be Scarf Defog as well on the Hydreigon, but not terribly likely. Um. But what do you do if I just go into Latios? Latios. I have to remind myself what my Latios set is here. Okay, my Latios does have Draco Meteor. So, if I do bring it in now, I would have to, have to, have to predict the Hydreigon to come in and Draco straight away. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Unless he sleep powders me. If he sleep powders me, that would actually be uh, not ideal, but I don't know. He might just take the damage that's in front of him. I'm not too, too sure. Hidden power. Hidden power dark? No. Hidden power ice? Hidden power... Fire. Oh, he, he expected the scissor. Fair enough, fair enough. So, so here we go. Am I gonna, am I gonna be real and predict the Hydreigon, like hard predict the Hydreigon to come in and go for the Draco right now? Because he's giving me a free psychic in front of this, uh, Venusaur. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. 
Bronzong. Okay, no. He played me. He played me. That's fair. Although, this is going to do an okay amount. It's definitely not going to do nothing, which is neat. Um, He's going to try to set up rocks, which is going to be an opportunity for me to bring in my Incineroar straight away. Although, the realest of plays would be if he sets up Trick Room right this second. Either way, uh, if he sets up Trick Room, then he sets up rocks the next turn, and... My Incineroar goes down anyway, so might as well try to bring in the Incineroar as soon as I possibly can. He could go for Gyro Ball right now. Uh, my Incineroar isn't particularly fast. But let's see here. I get the Intimidate off, which is going to be something. Withdraws doubles, okay. Okay. Into the... Into this thing. We know that it's Scarfed. We know that it's Scarfed. Dark Pulse might not take me out. Dark Pulse shouldn't take me out. I'm gonna collect Drain Punch. If he goes for the Dark Pulse, no, it goes for the U-turn. Okay, fair enough. That's fair. Although, I am curious to see if he goes into something that would let me heal back up. It could go into the Bronzong. Um, the Coco makes the most sense, I guess. The Coco makes the most sense, I guess. Maybe the Venus or No, the Venus or I don't know. Maybe? Who knows? Tapu Coco. Okay. So I'm going to get a little bit of HP back. I'm going to get a little bit of HP back. Although, I am excited to see no Halucho and no... Um... No Halucha and no... What's that thing called? Alolan Raichu. So, that means my Zorora, barring any scarfs... Well, I mean, the Hydreigon scarf you already established. But, um, other than that, my Zorora should outspeed his entire team. If I went into my... If I went into my... Hmm. If I went into my... Dawn fan right now... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm not gonna overthink this play too much. I'm just going to click this. Um, goes for the Dazzling Gleam. I do have a decent amount of special defense. Yeah, there we go. Now, here's the thing, right? He could absolutely... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to click Roar. The Roar was here just for the Halucha. Goes for the U-turn. That's fine. I'm kind of expecting the Bronzong to come in. But... I'm expecting the Bronzong to come in... And then, I don't know, maybe I... Oh, goes for the Venusaur. Okay, fair enough. But we're going to be able to roar this Venusaur out, which is going to be good. Because that chip damage is going to be huge, because I will be able to get a Z bounce off on that Venusaur. And it should KO. But drags out this thing. I wonder... Mm. See, the thing is, we still take a Scarfed Dark Pulse, so... I'm going to try and stay in. I goes for the U-turn. Okay. So now he's going to know that I have play rough. And now he's going to know that I have play rough. But I'm not too concerned yet. Goes out to the Venusaur. Hmm. This is a style of play that I'm very, very not used to. Um, 
this is a lot more like geared towards the higher tiers and it's and i'm very not used to this but you know what we're gonna try to do it no matter what this thing definitely outspeeds me Maybe, mm, maybe I should just give up the Incineroar now. Maybe I can just give up the Incineroar now. Maybe I can go into the Zorora. The thing is, I really don't want to give up the Incineroar yet. I wouldn't mind giving him the Dawn Fan, but I also don't want him to get so too much HP back. He tried to predict with the HP Fire before. You might expect me to go into the Latias again, which honestly is probably my safest play because uh, because I can recover back up. But honestly, that kind of just makes me want to click Earthquake. I think he might click Sludge Bomb. He does, he does, in fact, click the sludge bomb. No poison, no poison. Okay, we get poison. Alright. Fair enough. We will get some damage off with this EQ. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So, okay, from what we've seen so far, it could it could still be a scarfed Tapu Koko as well. It could also be Specs. But now I think now's the moment where I go into my Latias. He stays in. I think he goes for the Giga Drain now. I really think he goes for the Giga Drain. Synthesis. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. But see, the last time we did this, he went into... the Bronzong. Last time we did this, he went into the Bronzong. I'm gonna double. The, on the only question is, do I double into Incineroar or into Scizor? Let me see. Let me try to judge off of that Dawn Fan damage. Because I believe that did about 20-ish percent. Oh yeah, that looks like max defense to me, actually. Yeah, that might have been max defense. Which means my Scizor isn't going to be doing much against this thing at all. But I don't think there's any way this is this Mega Venusaur stays in here. I don't think there's any way it stays in. Goes into the Bronzong. Okay, assuming this is max defense, the the Venusaur I should say. What does my Scizor do to it? If we give it plus two attack, will it punch it do about half to a max defense Mega Venusaur? This thing could have HP fire for all I know, but I'm gonna click Swords Dance. I feel like he switches back out. He does. Sends out the Palisand. That's interesting. Why does he think this is a wall? Palisand. This thing might have the HP ice, or HP fire, I should say.
Knockoff at plus two should take him out. Oh, it should be a guaranteed Oko after rocks. Well, that's uninvested. It could be super defensive for all I know. If I can get a second Swords Dance up, I think I might just win. Well, no. Okay, so the Venusaur might stop me because I'm not going to be able to do enough where I'd be able to deal with it and deal with the HP fire in incoming as well. I'm going to click knockoff. We see the Colber Berry. Okay. Okay. Do we see the HP fire? Hidden power fire. Okay. That was unfortunate. We do take it for now at least. But he's going to lose the palace in now. Which means no rocks on my side. I'm going to get a little bit of HP back. And he's either going to let him... He, he can shadow sneak me, I guess, but I don't think that's going to be the end of the world. If he, stop, if he decides to switch in something else, then I guess we deal with it. He could theoretically try to switch in the... Uh... Actually, no, I should have clicked Bullet Punch because he might try to switch in the Venusaur, assuming that the Venusaur would be able to take these hits, but... Who knows, who knows. I just click knock off, we take this thing out. I wasn't too worried about it to begin with, but you know what? It's a step in the right direction. It's one less thing he can switch off to fodder. We are half an hour into this match. In comes the Venusaur. I can I'm gonna get HP fired. It's totally fine. Actually, he might predict the HP fire and like go for like a sludge bomb or a giga drain or something. This could be an opportunity to just click Bullet Punch. I'm going to do that. And no matter what, I'm going to get off a, a lot of damage off of the Bullet Punch. That is some damage. Goes for the hit HP Fire. Totally, totally fine. Now I'm in a position where... Now I'm in a position where I might be able to bring in the... I might be able to bring in the Zorora. Okay, actually, I'm, I might have to th check something out here. A Choice Scarify Dragon. Against my... Latias. This might be my time to go aggressive with my Latias here. What switching does he have to this? He he has the Coco, he has the Hydreigon. The Bronzong as well. I'm gonna have to wear down the Bronzong. I'm going to double into Zorora. Here we go. This is going to be Zorora's first time hitting the field, but I feel like this is a necessary double for right now. There we go. Enter Zorora. Hell yeah. Okay. In comes the Bronzong. We could close combat this this thing. Uh, although, yeah, um, there's no draw. There shouldn't be any drawback to just going for the plasma fists. Other than uh, high dragon coming in. Bronzong. Fully defensive bronzong. Fully defensive Bronzong. Plasma Fish should do about a third. 
I really should have brought knockoff on this thing. There's, there wasn't a reason to bring fire punch. I was I was afraid of the fortress. I, I did end up over preparing for the fortress. I'm gonna click plasma face. He might try to use this as an opportunity to bring the Venusaur back in. If he does, then I have the Z bounce. Uh, that would be interesting if he did that. Okay, this this thing comes in. This thing is getting worn down. There goes the Plasma Fist. I'm really curious to see how much this does. Ooh, that's a two-hit KO. I still don't... Yeah, I might just give up the... I might just give up the... Dawn Fan now. I'm just going to give it the Dawn Fan now. I might try to th make him think that I'm like Scarfed or... Or no, he wouldn't think I'm Scarfed. I might want to make him think that I'm like Bandit or Specs or something like that. I think... I think if anything... It goes for the U-turn, that's fair. That's fair, so I definitely could have just gone for another Plasma Fist in that situation, but whatever's gonna, whatever comes in just is able to take out my Dawn Fan. So, yeah, he, he's not in any position where he can... Let me think. We've seen HP Fire, Sludge Bomb, has to have Giga Drain. And probably Sleep Powder? I'm going to try to go back into Mega Latias here. I was going to give up the Dawn Fan, but I don't know. He goes for the Synthesis. Okay, fair, fair, fair. So here's the thing, right? Now in a position where we've already seen myself switch in and out of the... I've already seen him switch in and out of the Bronze Song, and me expect that and, like, play off of that. So I think... This is tough. He might... Hmm. This is actually really tough. Because what I really want to do, what I really, really want to do, is go for a Calm Mind. And I might do that. I might just go for that Calm Mind. If he goes into the Bronzong and lets me set up on the Bronzong... In comes the Bronzong. Now, I don't have Shadow Ball on my... On my Latias. But, I just have to try to gauge damage on this Bronzong. He's been bringing this in consistently against me. I'm gonna click Calm Mind again. I guess he, I guess his best move would be to go for the Gyro Ball. I'm not too too sure. Gyro Ball. I have no speed investment. Yeah, that's not doing enough. And at plus three... I'm just going to be doing more damage, and he's not... I'm going to be able to recover this damage off. It was for the toxic. Okay. Okay, no, that's fair. If that puts me in, in an awkward position. However, no, he definitely just goes for another gyro ball. E either he goes for a gyro ball or he switches out. Either way, recover has to be in my play right now. Recover has to be in my play right now. 
I have to trust for now. I have to trust that my Incineroar will be able to take out. Is my Incineroar still up? It might not be. Did I? When would I sack that off? It was for the protect. So here for a protect stalling. Man, he loves protect stalling. It's kind of it's kind of not ideal. I mean, it's fine. It's a strat. It's just not a good one. I don't know. So Draco should do 75-ish percent. I do still have my Incineroar, too. I'm clicking Draco. The thing is, he doesn't take two Dracos. Yeah, okay. That's about the damage that I expected. Unfortunately, it does, that does bring me down to minus one, to plus one. But, I think he might switch here. Well, no, he would protect here. Protect would give me the Freeze Aurora switch in. So, that's what I have to take. He's gonna protect. I feel like there's no way he doesn't protect. Stealth Rock. Interesting. So, now my Incineroar is done. I don't know, maybe I can... Maybe I can wrap it spin. However, now we're at the point... What kind of damage is Zora doing with Plasma Fist? Plasma Fist... Fire Punch does ever so slightly more. I'm gonna click Plasma Fist. Hydreigon's no longer switching. Uh, Venusaur is interesting. Venusaur is is in more than enough range where I can go for the Z-Bounce on this thing. I think, if anything, Venusaur takes this opportunity to try to go for the Synthesis. So here we go. This is my boy, Views. Don't switch out. Do not switch out. You don't have a switch in, fam. You don't have a switch in. Hydreigon goes down. Yes, okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. This moment was exactly what I've been trying to do this entire dang match. And Zora's just gonna pop him right on the head. He was in range where there was zero chance that he takes that. So Hydreigon can come in. Hydreigon doesn't survive another switch in. So it has to go for... Dark Pulse, to make any sense. I need the Incineroar. I would ideally like to have the... The Latias. Hmm. No, I just have to take this damage and go for the Plasma Fist and hope that I don't get flinched. If I get flinched, then he actually can take... Oh, no, I just outspeed. Oh, I know what happened. He... He... He made his high... He made his Hydreigon to only hit 202. Be assuming that I would make my Zorora to only hit 201 to guarantee outspeed the the Coco, but I actually made my Zorora 203 specifically for that reason. Now he goes for the Electric Surge, and now I can. I have to I have to make sure what kind of damage I'm doing against the Coco. Plasma Fist and Electric Terrain should do about... Should do about half. 
That's assuming no investment, but... I think it's fine. I just click Plasma Fist here. We do add speed. And I don't think you can Oko me with anything, unless this thing goes for a Z move. But that seems unlikely. Dazzling Gleam. I should take this fine. Yeah, there we are. And now, this should be it. We should take this win. Zorora coming through. Picking up the final four KOs. It took us 40 minutes to get to to get to a 4-4 state. The match was forfeited. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. But that's gonna be it. I'm gonna still give Zora credit for, for the final four KOs. Zora just did the darn thing. I'm gonna love using this thing. Just in building this, it was so much fun to kind of build sets for. I really enjoyed using this thing. Uh, that is definitely a GG to my opponent. That was a whole lot of fun. But that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back again really, really soon with more weeks of the PGBL. And tomorrow we will have the finals of the PGL and U Cup. It's going to be so, so much fun. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And everyone, once again, out.